anti-mullerian anti hormone ovarian reserve anti-mullerian hormone oda normal value enna abnormal value enna edhu panna vanda anti-mullerian hormone levels vanda jaasti aagum kammi aagum idhu pathi instagram layu youtube layu influencers healthcare professionals non healthcare professionals fertility coaches pace sitte irukanga na vanda adha pathi pesa poradhu kadaiyadhu i'm going to tell you exactly what you guys do not know about anti-mullerian hormone or ovarian reserve and what most Health influencers or fertility coaches are not talking about anti-mullerian hormone. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Santoshi Nandigam, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist, the Birth Drive Holistic Clinic, Nungambakam, Chennai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, anti-mullerian hormone vandu, now everybody knows that it is coming from the ovarian follicles. The more the number of follicles, the higher is the anti-mullerian hormone levels in the body because on the kutti-kutti follicles irukku illa, ovary illa, on the kutti-kutti follicles thar in the AMH vandu secrete pannhi in the blood circulation release pannhutu. Now, when someone is told that they have a low or a high anti-mullerian hormone, the first thing that we have to do is to rule out their vitamin D levels. So, vitamin D is a very, very, very important nutrient, important vitamin, which also determines the health of your ovaries. So, AMH, anti-mullerian hormone, come here, come here, make sure you, or you do your vitamin D levels. Correct the deficiency of vitamin D and then recheck the anti-mullerian hormone levels probably two months later. Now, vitamin D deficiency is correct, so if you do deficiency, it takes about two months or eight weeks. So, eight weeks of vitamin D therapy, anti-mullerian hormone levels will be repeated. Second thing is, AMH is of value only when it is done in fasting period and also on day 2 or day 3 of your period. So, if you do the mid-cycle anti-mullerian hormone, if you have the values fluctuating, if you have the value fluctuating, if you have the value fluctuating, please make sure you are doing it on your day 2 and day 3. The third and the most important one related to anti-mullerian hormone, it needs to be correlated with your antral follicle count. At the end of the day, AMH value is fluctuating because in a cycle, the number of follicles that are recruited by one ovary can be completely different from the next cycle which in which the number can be absolutely more or even lesser. So, AMH values are fluctuating. When we find that someone's AMH is on the lower side, after ruling out vitamin D levels and correcting the deficiency, we always make sure antral follicle would account every recurrence only. So, antral follicles, normal antral follicles on each side, on both the ovaries, it should be anywhere between 8 to 10. Now, either this is is when we kind of evaluate into the patient's history, the age and reproductive life, marathons how many years, or active pregnancy try We go deep into the history, evaluate and correlate the anti-mullerian hormone levels with the antral follicle counts. Anti-mullerian hormone at the end of the day is just a number. So, other this is the fertility potential complete poetry and the madri edu artho kadi there is scope for improvement. Please correct your vitamin D levels and always repeat your anti-mullerian hormone levels. There are so many antioxidants that you can take and other pati na next video la pesa kore. Thank you very much.